Hey guys, another Harry Potter Wizards Collection update. Yep, we got some more disc printing errors. Uh, the 3D Blu-ray for the Deathly Hallows Part 1 is actually the 3D Blu-ray for the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And the 3D Blu-ray for the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is actually the 3D Blu-ray for the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Huh. So, I, I can't actually confirm this 100%, but everyone's been saying it on Blu-ray.com. I've had messages on YouTube, comments on my videos about this. Um, I've got a 3D Blu-ray player, but not a 3D TV, so I can't actually test it. And honestly, I'm not really bothered because I don't really care about 3D. I uh, couldn't care less about it, but again, I'll leave the link for the, the Warner Brothers Customer Services email. So you want to just email those those guys and, and get your, your disc sorted out. I mean, there's no, no content missing. They're just, they're just labeled wrong. And the wrong 3D film is in the wrong book kind of thing. So yeah, and while I'm here... I want to show you how I've modified this Wizards Collection set. I haven't uh, broken anything or, uh, you know, added anything serious, but I've done something that's pretty cool, I think. Something that I wanted to do, <coughs> and it worked out pretty well. And here it is. If I don't pull the whole thing off. Alright, let's just uh, hold it one hand. And here we have the tails. Of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. This book's quite thin and it fits in perfectly uh, in the bottom shelf with the certificate of authenticity. This, of course, is the book that um, Hermione receives from Dumbledore in his will after he dies in the Deathly Hallows. Um, this isn't like uh, made to look like it was in the film. This was the actual book that was released in 2007 uh, for charity, and it's a really cool little book. It's kind of Wizard's Fairy Tales, and it's got kind of like annotations by Dumbledore himself. Very cool. Um, I found this in a shoebox a couple of weeks ago and thought oh, it'd be cool if I could slot that into the Wizards collection and it turns out it fits perfectly in here. So, and that bit, it's always quite hard to open, so it's nothing to do with the book itself. So there you go. Um, quick little update there on the, 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 the discs and also what I've changed and added to the set. And my first review will be going up very shortly. Um, my, my, the first part of the Harry Potter Odyssey where I'll be reviewing this uh, in full, in depth. I've almost finished going through everything in the Chamber of Secrets too, so expect that over the weekend, I guess. Thanks for watching.